Hey guys, it's Doug Giles again with Creative Restorations, and today we are going to do another project. Uh, this is going to be another leather project. I had a customer that uh, sent me a picture. I don't know if you can you guys see what this is. All right, this is actually a rifle sling, and uh, he sent it to me. He he really liked this design. Another company made it makes it, but uh, he wanted it he wanted it done in a little bit higher quality leather. He wanted it handmade, so that's what we're going to do. Now, I don't actually know the dimensions on that uh, on that exact sling, but that's okay because I have this. This is actually my hunting rifle. Now, this is a Winchester Model 70 in seven millimeter Magnum, and as you can see, I've got a I've got a oh, oh, don't want to do that. We'll end up busting out the lights, huh? So I actually did the tooling and leather work on this one, and this one's a padded. This one's all padded in leather. It's a nice sling, very nice sling. And I made this one, I, I guess I made this uh, sling about three years ago. But I really just need it, need this one for the dimensions so that I know how long to make the, uh, how long to make the uh, the sling. So, without further ado, let's uh, let's get started making a pattern for this. Because if this looks decent, I may end up selling them. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Do you want to see me sell them? Uh, I will have the comment or the uh, the pattern for this. So, if you want to see me start selling some of these slings, let me know. All right. So here's what we're going to start off with. Nice long flat sheet of oak tag and we're going to mark a center line on here so we'll reach up here and grab our straight edge and we'll just mark a nice straight and I don't particularly like this pin but uh, I guess it'll do the job so we're going to mark a straight edge all the way down for our center line and everything's going to be measured off of that and these are going to be our, our ends. These, uh, I just picked these up over at Academy Sporting Goods. Uh, these are our ends for the swivels. And I think this was about $10 for the, a little over $10 for these swivel ends. All right, and there's our basic rifle sling. Okay, so this will come around. And we'll have different adjustment points on here. This will fold around back here. So let's check it out again on the rifle. Let's see if there's any adjustments that need to be done or if this needs to be made longer. We can make it longer, no big deal. So we'll have this that curls around right in here. Got an extra long tail. Yeah, that should work very, very nicely. About the perfect size. Now, just in case any of you guys were wondering about what the leather is that I'm using, this is eight to nine ounce veg tan Herman Oak.
All right, so next thing, next thing we're going to do is we're going to get our edges nice and straight. We'll use a nice flat, straight edge. This might actually work better if we do it this way. I would like to give a nice little radius. much yeah that's too much we're gonna go a little bit wider than that there we go put a nice little radius on the top here and we'll do the same thing with the bottom Alright, so next thing we're going to do, we know, I know that I want to use Chicago screws for attaching this, so I want to, down here at the bottom, I need to put, let's see, where are we at? We're at inch and an eighth, we'll just come in a little bit. And we'll use a scratch all. So we're going to go to 9 sixteenths. And we'll just put a little mark right there at 9 sixteenths. And then we'll punch a hole in here for our, for our Chicago screw. Now, these are the Chicago screws that we're going to use. And down here. And I believe that, yes, that is the correct diameter. This hole punch is the correct diameter for it. Try that again. There we go. Our Chicago screw will fit right in. They will go like that. Uh, let's see. We're going to do the same thing with the other end. We're going to go to 9 sixteenths. Well, let's use the big hammer. Now, this is a uh, this is a Barry King hammer, and I believe this one is a twenty. Uh, let's see, doesn't say, but this is a this is a Bar Both of these are Barry King hammers or or mallets, uh, and I'm going to put the link down below if you guys are interested in some really high quality mallets. These are the real deal. Okay. Uh, I will warn you, these are in excess of $100 each, so, you know, forewarned, they are expensive, but they are much, much better than anything you'd buy at Tandy. Love my Barry King hammers. I had initially bought this mallet uh, when I when I first got started doing leather work, I had bought uh, this mallet, and to tell you the truth, I mean, it, it kind of slips off. It's really smooth. There's not really much weight to it. I guess it's all right if you got really, really light stuff to do, but I find that the, the nut on here wants to back itself off. I've had it come apart on me a few times. And this is basically the same thing, but you, if you felt them in your hand, 
you'd feel that this is much, much heavier. It's got a, quite a bit more heft to it. And then the big dog here. Yeah, that one. When I've got some big holes to, to punch out. When I'm doing light tooling, this is the one I want to use, the smaller smaller mallet. And sometimes I'll just use it, you know, cupping it in my hand like that. But excellent, excellent mallet. Now we've got our holes in here. So our Chicago screws will fit. Now there's one other little detail that the customer asked me to put in here, which is he wants a little hole right in here that he can put his thumb in. There we go. Pop that out and that gives you a nice little hole that you can stick your thumb in. Hold your finger, you know, hold your thumb while you're walking through the woods. That works. Double it, triple it, quadruple it up. Done our protective prophylactic, prophylactic for our hands. Mm, proctology time. One more. All right. All right, we are ready to dunk die. So. Oh, nice and slow. I'll put it in natural leather and pull it out as show brown. All right, guys, <clears throat> let's see, we are back. And before we go to put a finish on here, I'm gonna start slicking out my edges. And this is just a little bit of water I've got in uh, a little cup. So there's another YouTuber by the name of Don Gonzalez, and he actually taught me this trick. This is actually glycerin saddle soap, and uh, all you do is, you know, you cut off a little chunk of it and wet your edge, as you normally would. And just take a little bit of this glycerin saddle soap and put it right along the edge. Doesn't need to be a lot, and then we'll come back with our slicker tool and find the appropriate hole or the appropriate notch for it on here. And we'll start slicking, slicking out this edge. And our, already it started slicking out. And that's the nice thing about using that glycerin. It helps to, helps to hold those fibers down.
All right, so we have got the, uh, everything's dried out. Now it's time to put some resoline on, t-shirt rag, resoline. And I just put it over into a jar because it's a little easier to apply. Oh. All right. All right, we're going to let this sit for a few minutes. I'll hang this up to dry for a bit, and when I come back, uh, we'll put another coat on. All right, so we hung that up to dry for a little bit. As you can see, it's already starting to take on a nice little bit of luster. Okay, but we're not done with it. We're going to give it another coat. But first, I want to put a coat on the back side of here to even this up and uh, make it to where it's not gonna it's not gonna absorb any moisture through the back and just one coat on the back should be more than sufficient and as I said before I'm gonna leave the links I'll leave some Amazon links down below for all the materials that I used in this this is actually a, a a pretty simple project for for someone you don't need a ton load of tools this is one of those projects where uh, you know just some basic very basic leather tools will work just fine so one more coat on the top side here yeah, there we go. This should uh, this should really make it pop. We may even give it one more. Make it a grand total of five coats. All right, we're gonna put this up and hang it up, and uh, go ahead and get our keeper started. Put a coat of resoline on our keeper all right ready to do a little bit of assembly here this is not finished yet I still have to finish up the keeper but the keeper is going to be fairly easy to finish so we're going to put our Chicago screws in this is still a little bit damp but it'll be fine for assembly And that keeper is going to go right here. All right, that's pretty much it. All 
All right, so that's pretty much it. I mean, as you can see, it's a very nice looking. And I still have to put the keeper on. I haven't made that yet, but this video is already starting to get a little bit long. Um, you can see, oh, let's not hit the microphone. Got our maker's mark on there, our Double J Ranch. Chicago screws at the top and at the bottom, and this is adjustable. You know, he's still got several more holes down here at the bottom if he needs to make it a little longer. He's got several more holes here at the top. I think that uh, where I've got it right now is about right. Now, there's no reason in the world. See, our backside's all nice and finished out. It's nice and slick. There's no reason in the world why this sling shouldn't last hundred years or better. You know, it's a nice looking sling. It's very sturdy. I really like that thumb hole design right there. You know, it allows you to put the rifle up here and, you know, you can actually just stick your thumb in while you're walking. It helps to, you can actually pull the top of the rifle down so that the rifle doesn't start to slip on you. And uh, it's a really cool design. So, anyway, we'll get this, uh, Get the keeper made on here and uh, get it sent off to the customer tomorrow. So anyway, I want to thank you for joining me. Turn you back up here. I want to thank you guys for joining me. And as always, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, if there's any leather projects that you want to see me do, don't hesitate to ask. Let me know in the comments below what you guys would like to see me make. Um, I've got another holster that I've got to make over the next few days, and I'll probably be doing an upload of that. It's going to be an inside the waistband holster for a Glock uh, 43, uh, 9 millimeter. So, um, you know, and, and I'm actually going to be doing this holster quite different from probably anything you've ever seen before. So, uh, if you're new to the channel, hit the, hit the, uh, subscribe button and hit the bell notifications that way you can be notified every time i upload a new video as always like comment and subscribe and thank you guys for watching y'all take care